Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at relational operators and logical operators. Um, so first thing before we do that, we need to have a look at what true and false mean in C. So false basically means any value that's zero. Okay. Where true is anything that's not zero. So for example, the number six is true. Uh, 810 is true. One is true negative 42 is true, any value that's not zero is considered true. And this is going to be helpful for when we have a look at our logical operators, our condition, and our Boolean expressions. So let's go over here and have a look at some of the operators that we're going to have a look at in this video. So we're going to have a look at some logical operators. Okay, which is our not, our and, and our or. Okay. And not. And we're also going to have a look at our relational operators, which are here. Okay. Here we've got um, op1 is less than op2. Uh, we've got less than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal, equal, and not equal, okay? So with these operators, okay, um, let's have a look at the relational operators first. So when we have a relational operator, um, it's going to return either true or false, okay? Now, false is always zero, so it's going to return zero if this evaluates to false. So if I had A and B, and if A was actually larger than B, then it would return zero. If this is true, it will return one, which is consistent with the definition of true and false. Okay, so let's go have a look at these um, with a couple of examples. So the first thing I have here is our um, arithmetic operators we've already seen before, okay? And you can see them up here. So we've got our plus. Now you'll notice that the plus has a higher precedence, okay? So if we have both of these symbols um, in an expression, always the arithmetic operations are gonna come first. So here we've got five plus six and we're just storing that into A, which gives us 11. Now, if we were to use A in a condition, A would be considered true. Here we have is five less than six, okay? That's true, so B would have one stored in it, okay? So B would also be considered true. The next one here, we've got five plus one is less than three plus two. Now, we need to have a think about the order of operations here. So we've got five plus one less than three plus two. So we have a look at our order of operations. Um, we don't have any multiplication, we don't have any division, but we do have a plus. And our plus happens before our less than. We also need to think about the ordering because we've got two pluses. So we're going from the left, so we do this plus first, and then this plus. So we get five plus one, which is six, and we have on the other side, three plus two, which is five, and then we go to the lower priority, okay, which is six. Okay, so the priorities are numbered, and this is not true, so we get zero here. So inside of C, we'd store zero. So C would be considered false. The next one here we have D and we're just storing two in there, not too exciting. Now the next example is really really important because this is where a lot of students make a mistake. So if you saw this in mathematics, uh, three is less than uh, D which is uh, less than six, okay, sorry, yeah three is less than D and D is less than six. Now. You would say that would be false if you saw that in mathematics. And this is why we need to be really, really careful. So we need to have a look at this. We've got our less than operator. 
and it goes from left. So it's going to evaluate these two first, and then this. So we get 3 is less than d, less than 6. So we need to evaluate this first. We're going from the left. We've got 3 is less than d. Now d evaluates to 2. So that's going to give false, which gives 0, leaving us with 0 is less than 6, which is true, and it'll give us a 1. So this here is bad, okay? Because it's not what you expect, and it doesn't matter what value you put here, okay? This is always going to be true, okay? So if I put 100 here, it's still going to be true because this is always going to give me a 0 or a 1, and 0 and 1 is always less than 6. So this is not how we do this. Rather, we need some logical operators. Okay. So the logical operator we need here is we want to say 3 is less than d and d is less than 6. So we need this and. Now, how do these ands and ors work? So and and or. So and, basically, the left and the right hand side has to be true to get a true, okay? Any other combination gives a false, okay? With an or on the other hand, at least one or both need to be true, okay? So if they're both true, we get a true. If one's true, we get a true. If one's true, we get a true. And the only case we get a false is with both of them. So we can rewrite this so that it makes a bit more sense, such that we get the answer we want. So we'd say 3 is less than d, and d is less than 6. So let's do that again, and let's see the result. Um, so we've got 3 less than d, and d is less than 6. Now, with this, our and has quite a low priority, so we need to do these less thans first. So 3 is less than d, that's false, so we get a 0. We need to evaluate this part second, we're going from the left, and this has a higher priority than the and, so we've got d is less than 6, which is true, so we get a 1, and we've got a false and true, false and true, which gives a false, so we get 0 here. And that's the answer that we would want usually in this case. Now one other operator that I've got, uh, we'll, we'll get to that actually. Um, so the next one's very similar. Here we've got 5 is less than 6, which would give a true. We've got 6 is less than 7, which is give a true. We've got the AND operator. That's true and true, so it gives a true, so we'd store a 1 in there. The next one we have an OR, so we're saying 5 is less than 3, which is false. We've got 6 is less than 3, which is also false. So this would give false, false, and give us a 0. The next one here is a little bit more complex, and we do need to have a look at this because you'll notice that the priorities are different for ands and ors. So here we have and has a higher priority, so we actually do the and before the or. And we've got 6 and 6. Remember, anything that's not 0 is true. So this is true and true, which would give us a 1. And then we've got 0 or 1, which is this case here, which is true, so we get a 1. Now one other operator that we've got here is the NOT operator, um, and that allows us to do things like put the whole thing and negate it. Um, so it basically just changes our, if it was true, it would give us a 0, and if it was false, it'd give us a 1. So, let me just get on that layer. So that would change it to a 0 here. Okay? Because we've got that negation. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you.